Good day everybody and welcome to this unboxing and test video of a Leap Trend 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter. This will be a bit of an upgrade for our RV rebuild since my current inverter is only at 2200 watt and doesn't quite seem to be actually 2200 watt. So it's been a little lackluster. I'm real happy to have an upgrade here from Leap Trend. Got some links below if you guys want to check them out. Leap Trend offers a variety of power solutions to help you adapt to different environments all through your travels and explorations. Enjoy your time without worrying about power. Leap Trend is a professional manufacturer of high quality inverters which adopt advanced pure sine wave technology to provide you with high quality AC power, ensuring the protection of your household appliances and electronic devices from power damage. Got a warranty? Got your manual. Looks like a pretty well done manual there. Remote switch and cord. And of course, the inverter. Twelve volt, three thousand watt continuous, six thousand watt peak. I really like the green on black. I haven't seen this color combo before, and I am definitely fond of that. It's got a nice design. I like it. I especially like that on the three thousand watt here. We have a, a direct connection instead of using the outlets. If you want to wire this directly into your breaker box, you have that option too. Power on, power off, remote, place to charge your USB stuff. Got some connector protectors. That's nice. Very nice unit. Okay, before we give that inverter a test, I'll let you all know if you subscribe and hit that bell, stay tuned, you'll get to see me install it later on when this RV is ready. Uh, when I have a place to install it. It's going to go somewhere right in that area. So stay tuned. We're going to build a place to install it and then we will install it. Going to build a little power cabinet or something. It'll be fun. Stay tuned. You guys know I'm a bit of a power hog. I've got my dehumidifiers, my air conditioner, microwave, PC. I run my retro gaming consoles. But more importantly, it's the tools. This should have been able to run my air compressor, but it did not. So I think this is just not quite putting out what it says it does. I am looking forward to this upgrade. Big thanks to Leap Trend for sending us an awesome inverter. Be sure to check them out. Let's get this thing swapped out. All right, out of the old. And in with the new. Alright, I might want to add a little more electrical tape or heat shrink to the back side of that connector. But that is still pretty nice, having some hard plastic protection around those. Alright, let's power it up and see what happens.
All right, we got power. 13 volts. That's a really nice display, I like that. It's clean. Dehumidifier. Should be no problem. Our 10 watts. Nice, that's already looking more accurate than the last inverter. Which would jump up and down by increments of 30 watts. Very nice. Yeah, that is one stylish inverter, I like it. Here's the biggest load I plan to run on this inverter. Let's go ahead and try it out. Last inverter would not do it. Got a pretty good surge to it too with this motor. Proper inverter, I like it. Runs my air compressor, which is handy for pumping up tires. And uh, could run a lot of my air tools off of this thing. Mostly needed it for emergency tire, uh, for pumping up tires, and for my airbags in the back of the RV. So that is awesome. That's gonna probably save my butt in the future. I like it. Check them out, links below, helps out the channel, and stay tuned, hit the bell, we got an install coming up with this, once we are ready, once Patches is ready, for our new upgraded power, upgraded power systems. Yes, the planning begins. I love when they come with the remotes too because I like having a way to shut the power off at the driver's seat. You don't always have a safe place to pull over and if you smell something burning, you have a way to shut off your 120 volt system. And so we'll be putting this up at the, up here somewhere. When the dash goes in. And then we'll have a way to shut off our all of our 120 volt accessories. Usually you leave the inverter going all day, 24 seven to keep your food cold. And I think it's just a good idea to have a way to shut that off at the driver's seat. So that's real handy.